May the 28th, 2007, and the reenactment 100 years to the day of the very first tourist trophy race. I'm slightly apprehensive, but it's a great honour to uh, have the opportunity to ride the bike which won the first TT 100 years ago. And so they gathered for the recreation of that all-important history-making TT of 1907, including many of the machines which took part a century ago. At 10 a.m., exactly 100 years to the minute, Rem Fowler's victorious V-twin Norton of 1907 will start the reenactment. They'll be flagged away by the legendary Jeff Duke. Number one is George Cohen on the rebuilt Norton and being pushed by TT winner Dave Roper. While number two is the Vindek, the very machine which came second to Fowler and was ridden by the American Billy Wells. With the Scottish coast in the distance, Chris Reid negotiates Devil's Elbow. The Vindek has the same engine as Rem Fowler's Norton, a 684cc Peugeot 45 degree V twin. And number seven is an aerial from 1908, and ridden today by Alan Simpson. Alongside pedalling away is Reg Gladding on a 1909 Triumph Roadster. And here is Rem Fowler's Norton going at the same speed it would have done a century ago. A hundred machines spanning the first four decades of the 20th century, celebrating a hundred years since the first TT, with pairs setting off at 30 second intervals. Here comes Dave McMahon on a single speed 1912 Rudge. Rudge won the 1914 TT and was second the previous year on a bike the same as this. Last bike away is the colourful Richard Quayle and his replica of George Formby's Shuttleworth Snap. Coming then to the finish line, and just like a hundred years ago, it's Rem Fowler's Norton that will cross the line first. <laughs> 